What's up guys and welcome to the channel FWA4. In this video we're going to be taking a look at four incredible mic lane mods. So we're going to be looking at the rear seat back cover which is just here. Look how cool that is. So we're going to have a look at that. We're also going to have a look at the magnetic covers. So these are the covers that go on the center caps for the wheels. The Delco battery sleeve, so the battery that's at the front, so that's going to have that and it's going to be having the Delco logo on there to make it look authentic and incredible. And then we also have the last thing is the big tiny Twinkie. So you must know what Twinkies are. So we've got some here to show you. So this is a Hostess Twinkie. Absolutely delicious little treat. Some people might say so, but some people might say not. But that is that. And then Mike Lane has made the big, oh no, the tiny Twinkie. And here you go, so look at that. These are two scale Twinkies. And look at that, how incredible that is. So this is a proper Twinkie there with the bottom piece and then as you can see there these are mini ones so let's just quickly take those out and have a look at those first because as i said these are absolutely incredible and they will be displayed in the car somewhere when we have completed the model but as you can see there look how tiny they are they're really tiny but they are screen accurate twinkies and as you can see there that is an actual twinkie should we um take this out I know it's going to get a little bit sticky just so you can see how how close and accurate this is to the ones that he's made so this is the Twinkie here and underneath is the the little three dots where they fill it and as you can see there it's exactly the same but just such a miniature version of it how cool is that Right, so those are the Twinkies. I'll just pop those out of the way for a moment. And then the first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove the center caps. We're going to show you how to do that. And then we're going to show you how to install the magnetics ones that he has created. All of the packaging is always top notch. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So what we want to do is we want to just open this up. And as you can see, they are there. He has, however, if I can get them out and not let them fall out got the logo more accurate than what is already on it but as you can see there are little black covers for each one to stop it from scratching so if I took that off there and put that down you will see there is a cover covering that up just to keep it safe so, so it doesn't get scratched that is how much he thinks about us as a you know as a builder Right, so we're going to pop those in. What we'll do is we'll leave them there. We'll do that first and then we'll bring the model around and we'll have a go at getting these ones out and then popping Mike Lane's ones in. Okay, guys, there are a few ways of removing the center caps and the most effective way that I found is taking a glue stick. If you don't have a glue stick, then you could possibly try and I don't really know. If you want to keep them, then this is probably the best method to do it. So what I do is heat up the glue stick with this uh, until it's hot. You don't need to leave it there for too long. So just get it nice and warm. And then as it's piping hot, just pop it on to the center cap, push it into place and hold it there. You will need to hold it there until it actually goes solid. So just keep it there for a while. And then once you try to remove the, um, move your hand away from it, the glue stick should stay there and then you will know that it's in place. So just give it a moment. This did work on the back one. There was a chance that you might have to do it a couple of times, but this, should, this method should work without damaging the center caps as well. So as that is in there, you just make sure that's a bit hard. So as you can see, that's now sticking out. This is the one that we removed from the back. And this is the back one. So while we're waiting for that to dry, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Mike Lane Incredible Mods. We're gonna take off the first center cap. We're just gonna let that fall because then that will be that cover. And then we should be able to just hold it near and then that will just go into place like that because it's magnetized. As you can see, 
Doesn't that look good? Right, so with this one, hopefully this is dry enough. We should be able to pull this and it will remove the cap. As you can see, the cap is now removed. And then all you need to do is just peel off the glue and then the center cap in the center is good. So if you just go around the edge of that and then peel that off because it's just a glue stick, you can make it thin again. So then you can go around and do the other side. But because we've now got that out, we can pop our center cap in. So our new center cap. So we're just gonna let that fall and then pop that there. And then this one, oh, so it didn't get close enough. Just goes into the hole there and then it magnetizes just like that. And look how cool that is guys. Absolutely incredible, isn't it? I'm gonna bring the model a little bit closer just so you can see them. So you can see how cool they are. But there you go, look at that. They look beautiful. We're gonna flip it around the other way and do the other ones. I will show you one more in just a sec, but we'll just flip it around and then we'll do another set. Right guys, so we now have the model around the other way. I'm just gonna heat this up again. And then we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just hoping it works again this side as well as it did that side. Get it nice and warm. Pop it in the center there. And just hold it in place. Let it dry off a bit. Wait for it to dry. And then you don't want to really pull it until it's gone hard, until it's as hard as it is before you heat it up. Because otherwise it will just be all sticky and it will just you know, it won't pull away like it should do. So you just need to give it a minute or two to finish going off. It doesn't take long. It's only taking as long as it is for me to record and show you this at the same time of how long it takes, just so you get an idea. Right, so that's dried up there. It's gonna keep these center caps out of the way so we don't lose them. I'll give it a little bit longer to go off but what happens is in the kit, you get one of these amazing little magnets as well, which takes the center caps back off again. And then you also get in the kit this. So this is a cover to go over. So you put the cover there and put that there. So then what happens is when it magnetizes, it doesn't damage the, uh, the graphic that is on there already. So I'm just gonna pop these ones in this case in, and then hopefully this has gone off enough for me to pull it out. There you go. So it's pulled that out. And as I said before, if we peel this, you'll see that it is undamaged. So we'll just peel that out of there. And that center cap is absolutely perfect. It's not damaged in any way. Right, so we need to take another magnet one. Oh, it's magnetized to the lighter. So remove that, let that fall. And then obviously there is a spare as well, which is really good. And then we'll just hold that over and then that will just fit in place just like that. But as I said, if you hold this over the front of it like that and then pop the magnet in place like that, then when you remove the center cap, it's going to be really, really good. So you pop that back in again and then you can just slide that away. And then there is your center cap. But there you go, guys. That's how you do the center caps. I don't think we could explain that any better than what we have now. Uh, we will now move on to doing the Delco battery sleeve. And then we're going to have a look at how to do that. So let's go. In this bit, we're going to be fitting the Delco battery sleeve by Mike Lane. So here we go. So this is how it will come. I have folded the corners a little bit just so you can see. And it is just so sturdy. So the first thing we need to do before we can pop this delco sleeve on is we will need to remove the top of the battery terminal so all we need to do is just lift the tops off and then just pop them out of the way just like that and as you can see it is quite plain and boring uh, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to peel the 3m tape off the back of it which we'll do now just very carefully peel that off and you can remove it if you want to but I think it's going to be a lot of effort and I'm pretty sure we'll be able to install this without having to remove it at all and let's see because I'm a big believer in trying to do things uh, to make our lives easier so this is going to go at the back and then we want to make sure it says Delco this way up when we put it on 
So what I'm gonna do is gonna slide that down the back first as much as I can, probably bend that corner as much as I can too. And then the first thing I'm gonna try and do is just slide that down the back of there. Carefully sliding it down. It's gonna be a bit fiddly and it's gonna to wanna to stick, but it's gonna be fine. We're not gonna push it against the back. So it should be okay. So push that down. Once you've pushed it down the back, just make sure it's level all the way around because you don't want it to be above the battery. And then once you've got that, stick your corner in, bring this section round and then just fold this bit over. Make sure and it stick into the battery itself and you want to make sure it's in line there and then stick that corner down too and then go around and then push it all into place just like so and we didn't have to remove it we installed it while it was on I don't know if uh, it's recommended but it is possible and then we can put battery terminals back into place which you're going to do now they're quite fiddly but we will do them it's fine so that's that one and then the other one's just behind here there it is pop that into place just like so and that's the Delco battery there we go so look how cool that is that is absolutely incredibly cool and it just finishes it off I mean it might be hidden away when the models together but still still looks amazing and it just looks really really good and it's just you know it's just superb and then Mike Lane always knocks out the park every single time the next thing we're going to move on to is we're going to do wherever it is the rear seat back cover so we're going to go do that next so let's go find out how to install this one okay guys for the seat back to be installed I've just taken it out of the package in here as you can see it does look absolutely superb as always uh, it's got a little cover on the back of there and it's got some 3m sticky tape to cover up the screw holes and it also has a top little tab there and it has a side tab here so it goes on this way round like this over the top like that but the first thing we need to do is we're gonna have to remove the four screws on the back and take this section away because we do need to cut this little tab off here so we're going to quickly go on screw this and then we'll go from there yeah right guys as you can see here we have now removed the seat cushion from the front so that is the seat cushion bit there that's removed and what we need to do now very carefully is remove this section so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push i would recommend a stanley knife and be very very careful we're going to just go down here and we're going to cut away this section but just be really really careful if you're going to do this not to bend this and break it so we're going to do that and then we'll be back in just a sec. Right guys, as you can see that tab is now removed and it is now smooth. I'm just going to go over that and just move it off a little bit more. Probably touch it up with a little bit of a black marker there. And then we're going to get ready to put the seat back on and then we can install Mike Lane's mod. Now that this is all smoothed out with the Stanley blade, obviously I said I would do recommend using a, a crafting knife or a Stanley knife, don't use just a blade. Uh, but my videos are set not made for children. What I'm gonna do is just go up and down the side of this with the black pen, just to touch up any of the white marks that are there. There we go. So that's just using a marker to keep that in place. The next thing I need to do, I need to just go and screw this seat back into position. So I'm just gonna pop that back on there and then screw that into place. And then as you can see, it now doesn't have that tab. So we're gonna go do that and we'll be back in just a sec. 
Right, so now that we've put the four screws back in place, they are all accessible by a screwdriver. So as you can see here, there is that screw there as well. You can get to them really easily with a screwdriver, not a problem at all. The next thing we need to do is just test fit the mic laying back piece, and make sure that that fits in place. And as you can see, it does, and it looks absolutely amazing. And then the next thing for us to do is to just take off the backing. So we're just gonna take the backing off here. So it's sticky backed, and then you're not gonna see those dreadful screws. They're gonna be eliminated after this. So just take that off, and you can see they're already pre-cut out, ready to go. Just slide that down underneath, push it over the top, and then slowly go around, push it into place, and then get off any of the dust that I've just put on it. And as you can see now, how incredible that looks. No nasty screws, all gone. It looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. This is just looks superb, isn't it? Right, guys, so in this video, we did the seat back. We did the center caps for the wheels. We also did the gurney rails, which are just here. As you can see, they look incredible. Uh, we also did the Delco battery as well, so that was good. And we had a quick look at the mini Twinkies. So as we have it out now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop the mini Twinkies in on the back here, just so you can see them, because they're just beautiful. Look at that little mini Twinkies just sitting there. I know you wouldn't keep them on the floor, but you get the idea. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Please like, share and subscribe and then we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye bye.